ओके यू न्यू न्यू ऑफलाइन ओके ओके सो लेट्स हैव अ क्विक शूट आउट ऑन व्हाट वी हैव लर्न यस्टरडे सो एडब्ल्यूएस has data centers we know that does aws has data centers only in one place or in multiple places multiple places so multiple places meaning can we call it as global so what aws is providing for us global infrastructure so we can say that aws is providing a global infrastructure or aws has a global infrastructure so what aws is providing for us infrastructure as a service fantastic infrastructure as a service do you all agree that aws is a group of services so for each and everything there is a service if you want to create databases there is one service if you want to set up servers there is one more service so if you want to set up a network there is one more service like this in aws for each and every requirement you have a separate service for it so that's why you call it as aws is a group of services <clears throat> where is the cloud cloud is present in the remote location very good cloud is present in the remote location okay what is there in that remote location what is there in remote location data centers what does the data centers contain infrastructure what does the infrastructure contain servers database storage etc etc good we will create servers no that servers will be inside the infrastructure or not inside the infrastructure very good okay and also in order to connect to the cloud what we need we need to have internet without internet can you connect it no now you might have a question sir just in case in, there is no internet so my cloud is gone no <clears throat> the reason here is let's say you have your home you have your home and you lost the keys that mean whatever inside your home is gone no right so you have the you have lost access to it that's it again you can get the access so whatever you have it in the cloud everything will be there if there is no internet simply internet will not get connected once internet is back you will connect to the normal cloud but remember internet will not be going down internet will not be going down just like that because in big big companies you have the backup of internet so there is no way those who are working those who are working they knows do you feel that internet is was down any time in your company no never right okay and then what is the definition of aws that is the full form aws is a cloud provider who provides infrastructure as a service okay nice and then do you remember we discussed about the cloud computing also so what is cloud computing instead of doing computing in our on premises now you will be doing computing in the remote location what is that remote location call cloud and if you are doing computing in the cloud what is that call cloud computing and then we also discussed about uh, deployment models or in other words we call it as types of cloud <clears throat> so types of cloud so what are the different types of clouds we have public cloud private cloud hybrid cloud fantastic chitty what is public cloud the provider services which are accessed by everyone we call it as public cloud what is private cloud the provider services which are accessed within the organization within the organization is called the private cloud hybrid cloud combination of public and private super okay <clears throat> okay and then what is an example of our public cloud who is there aws so can we say aws is a public cloud provider yes and then also we discussed about uh, service models what is that service models what are the service models infrastructure as a service platform as a service software as a service very good so is it good 
to call aspas sas no not good okay <clears throat> fantastic yeah okay very happy for you injected any revision required <laughs> not required so initially when i said this you thought something no how come sir will inject everything in the brain huh hmm? now how are you answering it correct it is good to do revision i am not saying don't do the revision it is good to do the revision but i would i would really appreciate the concentration that you are putting so please continue like this only it's a both of our efforts so i really appreciate you guys please keep it up okay <clears throat> mm. okay so today what we going to do is let's discuss little bit more about service models so what are the service models infrastructure service platform service software as a service so let us do which is very important so let me share my screen online chatters can you please confirm can you see my screen and can you hear me well so every day you are getting revision also first first 5 10 minutes it is a recap of yesterday so that will uh remind you what we have discussed in our last class it's good hmm? so <clears throat> ah by the way i forgot to ask one question in order to create servers in aws would you go to mumbai data centers and then create there or what will you use ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. aha uh -huh. hmm start hmm huh? gaadi start ho raha hai right? ah exactly amazon management console ah very good so it is a amazon management console or you can call it as amc so and people don't call it as amc generally you call it as management console or aws console simple as that so we have something here aws management console so everything that we do on aws is on the this console only nana okay everything whatever you do the work on aws will be on the management console so you log into the management console and you have so you also agree that aws has a group of services aws is a group of services aws is a group of services okay so now <clears throat> let me give an example let us go little bit deeper now okay let me take one name whose name should i take shiva i already used uh, anyone new mahesh okay i'll use mahesh babu no only mahesh mm. so this guy is mahesh okay mahesh you are standing or walking here <laughs> sit <laughs> okay so this is mahesh nice no hmm so this guy is mahesh mahesh okay so <clears throat> what we going to do is <clears throat> today mahesh is a client mahesh is a client so assume what mahesh mahesh okay let me let me write first client mahesh is a client what mahesh has in his hands is application what is that so mahesh he doesn't know anything assume that he doesn't know anything he is a customer he is a client what he has is he has application in his hands right which is developed in any kind of language yes or no so this is he has what in his hands application that can be developed in your bava bava meaning java or dot net so basically what he has is he has a zip file he has what nana zip file so what what mahesh has rehman um online guys my screen is okay okay 
good okay thank you so what mahesh has is mahesh has application in his hands nana so what he is telling is now he started shouting he came into the market and he said are wo cloud providers are wo who is there in the market please take this application and put it in some dabba or put it in some server give me the url to access what he has in his hands is only application that means code can he access the code no right that code needs to be placed in one server and then url he will access it yes or no so this is his requirement understand the requirement this problem statement is important so the statement here is mahesh said hey anyone out or there in the market in the market please someone take my application put it on the server and give me the url to access i want to access my website this is the question when he is shouting like this all of a sudden someone called him right with a symbol right so mahesh is sitting and then someone called oh mahesh mahesha come this side so mahesh went to that person and mahesh asked babu who are you who why you called me what is your name and that guy said my name is infrastructure as a service what is that infrastructure as a service so who called mahesh infrastructure as a service called mahesh so infrastructure as a service called mahesh and asked hey mahesh what do you want what is your problem mahesh said hey infrastructure as a service i have application please you take it put it in some server and then give me the url to access it simple as that then infrastructure service told to mahesh what mahesh you don't have on premises ah you don't have your data center mahesh said no babu i don't have any data center oh are you missing your data center yes i am missing my data center i don't have it okay so what infrastructure will do is now for you is infrastructure as a service is telling is telling hey mahesh don't worry i'll help you here what i have first let me tell you what i have with me what i have with me so infrastructure as a service is telling now to the mahesh <clears throat> first of all can you tell me in infrastructure service who is an example who is our provider aws fantastic guys so our aws is a best example instead of saying infrastructure as a service can i say aws now can i use the word aws okay so now what i do is aws is telling to mahesh hey mahesh i have data centers with me i have data center with me so he is telling like this i have data centers where i have network inside it data centers na no, na no, aws also has virtualization in the back end yes see he is telling like this so he is telling i have network data center on top of it virtualization i have on top of it can you create your own uh, virtual machines where it has os and you put the data on it and you put the application say that nana what do you have okay just continue the class okay as you you are new today right just continue the class so aws is telling that hey mahesh i have a lot of infrastructure with me including network data centers virtualization operating system data on top of it application so what you need to do is simply guys see here does aws has in the back end physical host machines or not agree everyone does aws has in the back end physical host machines yes but do we need to worry about that so this is a physical host machine in that physical most host machine what we have in the back end in the bottom you have a hardware on top of it ah excellent guys excellent so what is this hypervisor so let me write so in the bottom what you have is hardware on top of it what we have nana hypervisor and top of it what do you create 
Excellent. What do you create? Virtual machines. On top of it, what do you create? Virtual machines. Okay, we have virtual machines. So AWS is telling to Mahesh, hey Mahesh, I have a lot of infrastructure inside me. What you need to do is, you just need to connect to my infrastructure and create whatever you want. And how does he is connecting? Through Amazon Management Console. Yes or no? Through Amazon Management Console. So what AWS is telling is, hey Mahesh, open my Amazon Management Console. And then if you want to create a server, create it. If you want to create a storage, steerate it. If you want to create a network, create it. Everything you have access to my network or you have access to my infrastructure. Everything you can do it through Amazon Management Console. Now tell me here one question for you. Does customer is responsible for network and data center? No. Is customer is responsible for virtualization? Who's, whose responsibility is this? AWS responsibility is this. That meaning, can I say these two are whose responsibility is this? For AWS. Can I say provider? Yes. This is provider. This is provider. And now tell me, now customer, that meaning Mahesh will go and create virtual machine. What does that virtual machine contain? OS, on top of it, he'll put the data and on top of it, he'll put the application. Now you tell me, customer is responsible for what? Application, data and OS. This is a perfect catch. So in infrastructure as service, customer is responsible for what? Application, data, and OS. Fantastic. Put that online people. So customer is responsible in infrastructure as service. Customer is responsible for what? Application, data, and OS. Very good. This is customer. Customer's responsibility. So <clears throat> that is why we call this concept as a shared responsibility model. Or that shared responsibility model. So I'll tell you one small question. I'll tell you one uh, small uh, uh, certification question. Assume that what Mahesh did was <clears throat> he has set up the servers, Nana. He has set up the servers using Amazon Management Console. He has set up the servers in AWS. He put the application inside it. Okay. You tell me here, does the AWS will put the application or Mahesh should put the application? Mahesh only. AWS will provide you just infrastructure. You are the person who, who need to create servers. You are the person who need to deploy application. You are the person who need to configure it, secure it. You need to do everything by yourself. AWS, what he's doing is he's just providing the infrastructure. That's it. AWS is just providing the infrastructure. He will not do anything for you. Everything you need to do it by yourself. But what AWS is providing? infrastructure only what AWS is providing infrastructure only so you need to go and set up everything there okay so what Mahesh did was Mahesh went and set up infrastructure uh, set up uh, a server he deployed the application he's everything he did what happened see listen to this question carefully what has happened is suddenly some hacker hacked inside the virtual machine and he hacked the data Tell me whose responsibility is this? Is it customer or provider? Hmm? Bolo. Tell. Huh? Okay. Okay. Who is that? Very fantastic answer. So the answer is <laughs> customer. Answer is customer. I'll tell you the reason why. So what Mahesh did was Mahesh went and launched virtual machine. Does the AWS, I told you, whatever is happening inside the virtual machine, that meaning operating system, data, application. Whose responsibility is that? 
did i clearly mention there it's a customer responsibility so whose responsibility is that if someone hacked that machine inside the machine he steal he steal the data or he hacked the data maybe he he has not configured it properly aws is providing you the infrastructure but you need to secure it no i'll give a similar example that i already used see builder is there i someone i asked say builder is there builder has constructed the home for you and he has given you the keys what you did was you went and set up everything furniture inside it and you forgot to put the lock the keys some thief came and he robbed everything now to to whom you will shout you will shout builder builder is the owner no will you shout the builder no who is responsible says it customer responsibility because builder has given you the lock you have forgot to put the lock you cannot blame the builder for that reason here i'm saying you whatever you do inside the virtual machine whose responsibility is that customer responsibility for that reason you cannot say to aws saying that mottam meere je sir you cannot say that everything you have done you cannot say to aws saying that everything you have done aws i have used your virtual machine someone hacked it someone steal my data it's your problem for that reason aws clearly told babu let's use the concept of shared responsibility model what's that shared responsibility model shared responsibility model meaning meaning what in movies is there no idi neeku idi naaku idi neeku right this is for you this is for me this is for you this is for me so aws clearly told babu whatever is there on the virtualization network or data center in on the infrastructure point of view i'll take the responsibility let's say for example someone hacked the data center who's responsible is that provider cws right someone uh, uh, tampered or tampered aws network who's responsible is that provider only someone has logged into your machine and then hacked the data whose responsibility is it? customer understood this is called shared responsibility model ardhamaina is it clear understood okay <clears throat> so now and and aws is clearly telling you that hey we are using shared responsibility model but i'm telling you perfectly aws is telling mahesha uh, aws doesn't have access inside your virtual machine where are you creating virtual machine in aws only no if it is creating in aws aws also doesn't have access inside your virtual machine who has access only customer does builder has access inside your home <laughs> no right he will come hey i have built this entire building i will go without you inside will you say that no so builder is selling i don't have access inside your home but I have access to your entire apartment here also is selling that aws is selling that babu i have uh, access for the entire in the back end yes correct prasad so in the back end everything aws will take care but inside the virtual machine who will take you need to take care of it customer need to take care so i clearly write it here aws doesn't have any access inside your virtual machine is it you're getting it online cities is this clear nana till here cc please okay chitit do you all understood that aws is a group of service so here mahesh what is doing mahesh is opening amazon management console he is creating the servers yes or no mahesh is opening amazon management console and creating the servers i told you for each and everything there is a service for creating servers also there is one service which is very 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 important and congratulations i am revealing the first service in aws now if you want to create servers in aws in aws there is a service called ec2 what is that ec2 what is that nana say that again uh elastic il no so that is a certification question many people will say the full form of this is wrong so i'll tell you the full form of this is elastic 
compute cloud. What is it? Elastic compute cloud. Say that. Elastic compute cloud. Say that three times. Elastic compute cloud. Elastic compute cloud. Which one? Elastic compute cloud. I'll tell you one. There is one certification. Pakka certification question here. In interviews, all they'll ask, what is the full form of EC2? You think that ah, oh, it's very easy. I'll tell you. I'll give me. I'll give the options. Option number one, elastic compute cloud. Option number two, elastic compute, uh, elastic cloud compute. Option number three, elastic cloud computing. Option number four, none of the above. Ah, uh, now you say, but in real, in when you go and writing the certification, there, abba, is a compute cloud or cloud computer? You will put the wrong answer. Easy question. For that reason, I'm making you happy to remember this concept. So, elastic. Compute cloud. As you have two C's there, that's why we call it as E C two. E C two. Now I'm asking you a question: Which is a service in AWS where you can create virtual machines? Hmm. Louder. E C two. Understood. Which is a service in AWS where you can create the virtual machines? EC2. Or if someone asks, what is EC2? What you can say? EC2 is a service from AWS where you can create virtual machines. Understood, Nana? And I'm telling you one important word here. See here. From till now, we are using virtual machines, virtual machines word. No. We are using what concept? Virtual machine, bro. We are using what name? Virtual machine. Instead of virtual machine from now onwards, you should say instance. What is that? Instance. You should say what, Nana? Instance. What instance? EC2 instance. What instance? EC2 instance. Virtual machine in AWS called as instance. Where do you create these instances? EC2. That's why we call it as EC2 instances. Now, what is it is EC2 service? Is I'll tell you the definition. EC2 is a AWS service or EC2 is a service from AWS where you can create instead of virtual machines EC2 instances. Now form it off, form it again. EC2 is a service from AWS where you can create EC2 instances. Understood? I'll write this for example. Instances. So EC2 is a service from AWS where you can create virtual machines or instead of this, you can call it as EC2 instances. Got it, Nana? Hmm? EC2 is the beast. It's a monster in AWS. It's a big service. It's a one of the core service in AWS. We'll be doing a lot of thing on EC2. Lot of theory, lot of practicals, a lot of things that we'll be doing in EC2. But to reach that EC2, we need to clear the basics, no? We cannot directly go to EC2. You need to clear the basics, fundamentals in AWS. Then we'll go to the EC2 service. But you all understood here, which is a service in AWS where you can create virtual machines? EC2. So what this Mahesh will do is, Mahesh... We'll open AWS Management Console and he will connect and he will create the virtual machine in AWS infrastructure like this. Yes or no? Mahesh will open Amazon Management Console and then he will create virtual machine in AWS infrastructure. You got this point? Is it clear, guys, everyone? So which is the service that he used to create these virtual machines? EC2. Okay, so finally, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> so finally, <clears throat> AWS said to Mahesh, Mahesh, did you understood till now what I have discussed? Right? AWS is telling, I'm summarizing, guys. I'm summarizing here. AWS is telling that, hey, Mahesh, I will provide you the entire infrastructure. I'll provide you the entire infrastructure. You need to open just Amazon Management Console and you create whatever you want in my infrastructure. If you want to create service, which service would you choose? EC2. 
go to EC2 and create servers. But here, but AWS is saying whatever is on the data center level, virtualization level, network level, whose responsibility is that? AWS responsibility. Whatever, what is customer's responsibility here? Application data and OS. Application data and OS. Got this point, Nana? So here, everything who need to do? Mahesh need to do. Yes or no? Customer need to do everything. AWS is doing anything here? Nothing. It is your own home. You do and whatever you want to do, you do it. it you feel like you, it's like your data center only. But who is handling? AWS is handling it. You feel like you have your own data center. Guys, if you have your own data center, do you have any restrictions? No. Everything you can do it in your on-premises. No. But the data center is not in on-premises. The data center is handled by AWS. And instead of doing here, you do there. No restrictions. Everything you can do it. This is what he told. So now, that's Prasad. OS will come under EC2. That's, okay, now, another question for you, Nana. Does AWS has access inside your EC2 instance? No. That's what we learned, right? AWS doesn't have access inside your VM. VM meaning here, EC2 instance. Does AWS have access inside the virtual machine? Inside the EC2 instance? No. Okay. So, my started thinking, oh, so that meaning I need to do everything here. I need to do everything. Good. When he's thinking, someone, other one, other one called. Hello. Who is that? Platform as a service. So, when Mahesh is thinking, so someone also called him and that is a platform as a service. Mahesh went. Oh, what is what? So, Seriously, platform is service is telling. Serious, because he's very serious. Platform is service is a very serious guy. And he said, Mahesh, where did you went? And he said, Mahesh said, uh, I went to that guy, infrastructure as service. Because platform is service, infrastructure as service are, are they both are competitors. Enemies. Uh, they both are enemies. So as he went to the infrastructure as service, so platform service is seriously, ask, seriously asking, hey Mahesha, where did you went? He went to, he said, I went to infrastructure service. Hmm. What did he said? Mahesha told, uh, he said that uh, he will provide the entire infrastructure. I need to put everything. What? <coughs> you need to put everything? Platform service is asking, Mahesha, you need to put everything? Mahesha said, yes. Okay. Now platform service is asking, Mahesha, first question, tell me. Do you know how to put it? I mean, do you know how to put your application? Tell me honestly, yes or no? No. Do you know how to create servers? Do you know how to deploy the application? Do you know how to secure it? Do you know how to deploy it? Then how do you use infrastructure as a service? Amma. Ayyo, I got uh, Matthilo Padipena. I some infrastructure is serving uh, Siriasar is telling I went into deep, uh, I he got hypnotized. So you understood what platform service is telling. Platform service is telling hey, Mahesha, if you don't know how to put the machine, how to create the server, how to deploy it, how do you do the work there? Then Mahesha asked, Hey, hey, platform service, you tell me what will you do? And platform service telling is, Hey Mahesha. What is in your hands? Application. Give me that. And get lost. <laughs> give me that application and get lost. That meaning give me the application and forget. Don't worry about anything. Just give me that application and provider will take that application Provider will create virtual machine. Provider will deploy. Provider will configure. Provider will secure. Provider will do everything for you. But application is Mahesh's application. You got this point. Do you need to worry on the servers now? Do you need to worry on the deployment now? Do you need to worry about anything now here? You need to worry about only what? Application and data. Operating system? Not required. Who is responsible for the operating system? Provider. So here is a certification question now. In platform and service, customer is responsible for what? Application and data only, not operating system. 
many people will do the mistake here so here i'll take it this guy i'll put it here platform as service also have the same concept but application and data is responsible by customer including os is responsible by provider this is customer and this is provider <coughs> excuse me and i got this point hmm? do we need to worry about a servers here in platform as service no everything he will do and he will give it back to you the url that's it you no need to do okay now question for you you no need to worry on the servers no need to worry worry on the servers and by the way another question another question do we have control on the servers no control on servers what is the example here there is nothing example here i am repeating here guys see <clears throat> if you concentrate you will understand <clears throat> what i was saying is in infrastructure give me a second please okay so what i was saying is listen this carefully who is at sonu prasad and everyone in infrastructure as a service we need to set up everything by ourselves yes or no in infrastructure as a service aws is providing only the infrastructure aws is providing the infrastructure who need to create servers customer who need to create the servers in infrastructure as a service customer who need to deploy the application customer who need to set up everything customer who need to configure everything customer everything customer you need to do everything <clears throat> coming to platform as a service what customer has application the code who will create the servers provider who will deploy the application provider who will set up everything provider what will you do just give the application that's it just give the application you understand now just to throw the application to the provider's face and provider will create virtual machines provider will set up everything provider will deploy everything provider will do everything for you but here the problem here is do we have control on the servers do we need to worry on the servers understood you no need to do nothing just worry on what the application you have give it that's it if you come and pushuk say hey i need access to the servers khabardar hey do you have access to the servers provider say no customer will say hey hey i want to deploy i need to log in and do something changes no idendra ida ha no everything will be managed by provider only what you have is with application with you application contain data no so for that reason here platform as service is telling only application data is responsible by the customer rest everything is handled by provider now mahesh started thinking ah. when he is thinking another person called ah you got updated now huh? who is that now next one software as a service so now this guy is even more serious software as a service is telling mahesh yes <clears throat> tell me what those two people said who infrastructure as a service platform as a service then mahesh has said oh those two people ah simply he saying in infrastructure as a service i need to do everything in platform as a service he will do everything so <laughs> correct no <clears throat> and mahesh has said ah by the way software as a service what will you do he is very anxious now mahesh <clears throat> so software as a service is telling i'll do everything for you i'll do everything for you 
what everything platform is also doing everything for me no what extra will you do what do you have mahesh in your hands i don't want that also i will create application for you i will do it for you everything i don't want nothing from your side whatever i am providing shut up and use it yes or no that is how literally software as a service is telling <clears throat> software as a tell software as a service is telling that i will give everything for you example gmail you have gmail gmail application are you worried as a customer how it is developed how it is secured how it is done everything are you worried no everything is everything is handled by the provider application is also handled by the provider now tell me in gmail compose button is there no instead of compose button if you want to put compo button do we have access to do that there is nothing to do in the application there is no access there is nothing whatever is provider is giving you need to use it that's it so for that reason here now tell me everything is responsible by provider so provider will do everything for you you no need to do anything here in this case so guys this is called software as a service so in platform as a service who is the best example our second brother azur macha right so azur will come under platform as a service in software as a service there are so many but have you heard about salesforce salesforce will come under software as a service you getting it so now guys <clears throat> i'm telling you see aws is providing aws is infrastructure as a service azure is platform as a service software as a service is so many salesforce are there but now question here is sir aws is providing only platform as a service ah huh? aws is providing only oh, sorry infrastructure as a service ah huh? AWS is providing only infrastructure as a service. Huh? Why can't AWS provide platform as a service? Guys, isn't it good for you if you just imagine in platform as a service, are we responsible for anything? Nothing. Just to give application to provider, he will do everything. Sir, AWS will not do like that. But in AWS, what we are doing? We need to create servers. We need to deploy. We need to configure. We need to set up. We need to do everything. Sir, why can't AWS will do? i'll give applications to aws aws will have to do everything aws will not do like that like platform and service guys congratulations again i'm revealing the second service from aws which is called elastic bean stack what is that elastic bean stack say that one more time mm. elastic bean stack don't call it stalk okay it's stuck l silent elastic bean stack so nana no, no, elastic bean stack is also another service in aws that will act as a platform as a service because aws you know why aws is number 1 right um yeah so srikant sir you want to talk maybe i cannot hear you can you please put the message okay so guys um i am giving couple of minutes to online people especially uh, your admin is mr srikant sir so he want to talk for uh, a minute sir over to you yeah good morning all am i audible can you please confirm in the chat box online students i'm audible yeah okay uh guys uh, so from thursday we are going to change the link so those who have not completed the fee payments please complete your fee payments by tomorrow evening 5 pm so that the paid students will be getting the new login credentials to your whatsapp number okay 
in that your user ID password will be there. Below that, there is a link how to attend classes through portal. Just go through the link. Just go through the link and follow the steps. And we have shared the app support technical team number in the login credentials at the last, which we are going to send you. If you have any login issues while joining the class, you take a screenshot of it and share them in the WhatsApp. If you call them, they don't pick the call because it's the only WhatsApp communication they do. Okay. So uh, those who have not completed your fee payments, please complete your fee payments by tomorrow evening, five payments. Okay. If you have any fee-related queries and non-technical queries, you can share me, you can send me a message in WhatsApp. One second, guys. Satish. Satish. Raju. Yeah, one second, sir. I'll be sharing my number. Okay. You can just drop me a message in the WhatsApp. Okay. Give me a second. I'm sharing my number. Guys, please. Sir, Thursday is first month, sir. Guys, please don't send any messages now. I'm just sharing my number so that all the students can save my number. Okay? And one more important thing here. If once your doubt is clarified in the chat box, once your doubt is clarified in the chat box, please don't reply me. Okay, thank you and everything because I have to deal with other students also. I have to deal with other students also. So if you send okay, thank yous, it will be difficult for me to reply other students, right? So once your doubt is clarified in WhatsApp, Please don't reply me. Okay, thank you. Thumb, thumb fingers, everything. Okay. And I'll be sharing you the account details also. The chat box. Please copy them. Save them. You can make the payment. One minute here. See, I've shared you the account details as, as well as the Razo Pay link. Those who want to make the payments from car, credit card or debit card, okay, you can make the payment to that link. Okay, so, so please save the account details. If you're not able to save the account details, drop me a message in the WhatsApp. I'll share you the account details. Okay. So please, I request everyone to complete your fee payments by tomorrow evening. Okay. Thank you, guys. Is that clear, guys? You have any queries? Just drop me a message in WhatsApp. Yes, sir. I'm audible. Okay. Thank you, Srikant, sir. Guys, so I hope you got all the details online, especially. So Srikant, sir, is very nice. So if you have any concerns, please message him. And, um, and any kind of help that you need online, offline, everyone. So please check with Mr. Srikant, sir. He, he, he will be your admin, okay, for this batch. Okay. So, guys, are you with me online now? Maybe you can check with him later on or any kind of questions related to the formalities. Okay. So which is the service that we are talking about here? Elastic Beanstack. So what is Elastic Beanstack? So it does the same thing like what platform as a service is doing. So what you need to do is you have application, no? 
just to give it to elastic bean stack elastic bean stack will create servers elastic bean stack will deploy elastic bean stack will do everything for you it will give the url to you like how the platform is service is doing so which is a service uh, in aws which will act as a platform service elastic bean stack if someone asks you what is elastic bean stack you say it is used for easy and quick deployment of applications in aws what is it nana what is elastic bean stack yes anisha so say that nana what is elastic bean stack easy and quick deployment of application in aws this is also a certification question uh, an interview question also because i told you no we i'll be writing all the interview questions i'll be sharing interview questions and also for you so whenever i'm asking this please try to answer it okay so what is elastic bean stack easy and quick deployment of application in aws so if you want easy and quick method of deploying applications which one will you go for elastic bean stack can you go to ec2 also you can go to ec2 but there you need to create servers you need to deploy you need to do everything but whereas in bean stack you don't need to do anything just give the application to bean stack bean stack will take it and do everything for you that is elastic bean stack so how many services did you heard about it two services what are those ec2 and elastic bean stack so now aws is saying are babu now aws is saying i'm not only infrastructure service i'm also platform service that is why it is number one in the market now people customer say no in uh, no aws you are infrastructure service only okay whatever you tell i'll agree but i also have platform as service things infrastructure as service in for aws it is stamped on the face it is stamped on the face saying that hey aws you are infrastructure service hey azure you are platform as service azure also telling are i am also providing infrastructure hey don't tell me only platform no you are platform as service only so that is how it has been habituated for the customers in the industry right but azure is also providing infrastructure azure is also providing platform aws is also providing more than what azure is providing that's why i said number 1 is aws and number 2 followed by azure and good thing is if you uh, if you learn aws azure within few days you can learn because the concepts are same only the names are different here we call ec2 instances there you call virtual machines like this okay na so now the question here is uh, shiv i just said azure not provide virtual instances virtual machines it will provide i'm saying no azure will also provide infrastructure azure will also provide platform but number 1 is aws boss mm. now is this clear till here everyone now question for you here is i'm asking a general question which is very important now we have seen very deeper into infrastructure service platform service software as service now you tell me which model has more job opportunities which model infrastructure service or platform service or software service has more job opportunities okay <clears throat> i'll make you to answer coming to software as a service people are saying few people are saying software as a service i'm telling you in software as a service everything is handled by whom what will you do what will you do what will you do playing with the application what will you do nothing no you totally handled by the provider no you have gmail what will you do with the gmail sending emails ah huh? salesforce is there but few customers are using salesforce just to manage everything you need to know salesforce to manage the application that's it do you know how to deploy do you know how to create servers do you know how to do anything nothing everything is handled by provider now coming to the platform and service in platform and service customers are responsible for application application will be developed by whom developers no application coding java baba will be done by whom developers what will you do what will you do because in the back end provider is hand deploying provider is creating provider is doing everything for you and in platform as service only developers 
developers where they develop the code and they will give it to the provider. But infrastructure as a service, developer will develop the code and that code will be given by to you. You need to create servers. You need to deploy. You need to configure. You need to secure. You need to do everything. Now tell me, where is a lot of work? So who has job opportunities now in infrastructure as a service? Logic. I'm not telling. Logic is saying, you know. Do you understand? Is it clear, guys? Everyone. Online cities. Is it clear, Nana? Till here. So do you understand? Now quickly, I'm, I'm going for the shootout round here. Please try to answer all the questions now. So how do you access AWS data centers using management console? Do you all agree that AWS is a group of services? Yes, AWS is a group of services. Mainly we have three types of service models. What are those? Infrastructure service, platform service, software as service. In infrastructure as service, customers are responsible for what? Application, data, and operating system. Does RB responsible for network data center virtualization, etc. in the backend? Do we need to worry about it? Do we need to worry about the host machines in the backend? Nothing. So we just open the Amazon management console and create the servers. Which is the service in AWS where you can create virtual machines? EC2. What is the full form of EC2? Elastic Compute Cloud. Elastic Compute Cloud. Can you tell me what is the definition of Elastic Compute Cloud? EC2 is a service from AWS where you can create virtual machines. Or instead of virtual machines, instances. What instances? EC2 instances. Fantastic. Okay. In platform as service, customers are responsible for what? Application and data. Application and data. Customers are responsible for the operating system. So do we need to worry about the servers? Do we have control on the servers? Everything will be handled by provider. Cool. In software service, are we responsible for anything? Everything is managed by provider. So which is a service in AWS act as a platform as a service also? Elastic Beanstack. What is Elastic Beanstack? Easy and quick deployment of application on AWS. Khalas. That's it. Super. I bet if you find this kind of information in internet also, I bet. Guys, whatever the dis whatever the topics that I am teaching you, nowhere you'll find. This is just coming out of my mind own. Okay? You might see the formats, but this kind of paints, if you see it, tell that that is real sir paints. Huh? Copied. Copyrights. Uh. Okay. So now, guys, can you tell me, can you tell me what are the two services that we have learned? Ah, EC2 and uh, ah, can you give the full form of EC2? Ah, elastic Compute Cloud. What is the first word? Elastic. No. In second service, what is the first word? There also elastic. Here also elastic. You need to know what is elastic. Correct? No. Without elastic, what do you do? Because all the service in AWS will start with elastic only. So guys, the next topic very important topic that we'll be discussing tomorrow is the three T's. What is that? Three T's. What is that? Everyone say. Three, not uh, Rangu, Ruchi, Chikara. <laughs> three roses tea, not that. Okay. Okay. So three T's meaning, which is very, very important. And I'm saying those three T's Elasticity, scalability, and high availability. So these three T's are very important in order to move to the cloud concepts. Nana Chitti understood how we are going slowly, step by step. So once we see... I don't know. So if you are, you have been into the airplanes, right? Airplane will go, go to the runway slowly. Once engine starts. Okay. So, but you need to be careful. Flight will not just jump from the same place. No, and it will go, not go, right? It will go, it will, it will go the, it will go to the runway and then it will engine start and slowly it will go and then it will pick it up. So for that, you need to clear on the basics, fundamentals, and then we need to take off. 
takeoffs should be smooth like directly should not go to take off which is very danger okay there are ravi kumar but i gave that example that there are also but not much at the moment any questions online take the screenshot why go to for ias if uh, pranav is doing all things okay now question for you okay nana no, no. don't leave the class until i say i'll give one smooth super example differences between infrastructure as a service platform as a service software as a service some people are saying sir why i need to go for infrastructure service everything is provided by platform as a service let's say assume that you want to eat you want to eat uh, you have mood to eat biryani today afternoon you want to eat biryani for example now tell me if you want to eat biryani there are multiple ways yes or no what is that number one what you do is you need you can prepare by yourself yes or no what you do you go and get that these all ingredients you come home you put on the flame blah 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 you put you cook however you want in your style yes or no how much you need more masalas you need more stuff you need more spicy whatever you want you do yourself you do yourself that is one method second method you directly go to the restaurant directly go to the restaurant order the food eat it order the food and eat it there is also third way don't go to the restaurant order zomato it will come home eat it now you tell me where is you have lot of work is there first or second or third what is first here infrastructure as a service so infrastructure as a service meaning now you understood the clear difference in infrastructure it meaning you are preparing the food in your style in however you want ha huh? that smell that everything what however you like you can do it everything your wish whereas in the second place is platform as a service where you go to a restaurant order do it to worry about how the biryani is prepared in the back end do it to worry about how it is in the kitchen how it is going no everything is handled by the provider only the url he'll give that mean only biryani he'll give eat it third place you know to worry about the biryani you know to worry about nothing order eat it that's that's the difference between this three clear up super nana great so we'll cover ec2 ebs lambda functions everything krishna netanya yes we'll do that okay is it clear everyone super nana and tomorrow will be the very important topic because the three t's are important i told you because all the services in aws will start with elasticity in cloud we need to talk about scalability you need to talk about high availability these three are fundamental things for the aws thing right tomorrow we'll talk about it can i give the final cc for today please cc with smile online wow thank you that hard is hard is smile is important hearts are important that will spread the love huh? you have to be happy <clears throat> great so that is all guys for today and i'll see you tomorrow with the next important beautiful topic until then take care bye bye have a nice day see you tomorrow same time same place same link <laughs>